welcome, one and all, ladies and gentlemen, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is... We have now hit day 26 of the government shutdown, and vital services are being threatened. For instance, I've run out of shutdown jokes. We might, have, we might have to dip into the National Reserve at this point. Mm -hmm. Things have gotten so bad that today, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi sent Donald Trump a letter asking him to reschedule the State of the Union. That's reasonable. That's a reasonable request. Yeah, I, think so. I mean, what's he going to do? The State of Our Union <laughs> is all the Democrats' fault. <laughs> what's, <laughs> so why is she doing this? Because she can. <laughs> He's the president. He's the president, but she's the speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Rule is, rule is, he can only go there by her invitation. Trump acts like the big dog, but she won't let the dog into her house because she knows he's going to poop everywhere. <laughs> Okay, out, 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 no, come on, out, out, ah, oh, jeez, out. Pelosi also has security concerns because both the U.S. Secret Service and the Department of Homeland Security have not been funded for 26 days now with critical departments hamstrung by furloughs. Things have gotten bad, so bad, that now when you see the Secret Service guys talking to their wrists, they're just talking to their wrists. They're just... <laughs> I miss you, microphone. We're... Hello. <laughs> what? Uh, now, pointing out that until Woodrow Wilson was president, presidents did not give the State of the Union in person, Pelosi gave Trump the option to deliver it in writing. <laughs> really? In writing? <laughs> Have you seen how this guy spells? He's just going to tweet, the stat of our union <laughs> is dat, 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 string. <laughs> string. <laughs> so string. I've said that for years. <laughs> Pelosi knows what she's doing here. According to one Democratic lawmaker, knowing how desperately he wants to give this speech, this is just going to drive him crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it's true, because nothing hurts Trump more than when you deny him a TV appearance. They already won't let him host the Oscars. <laughs> now, just because Pelosi won't let him in the House doesn't mean he can't give a speech on camera, as Pelosi explained. You can make it from the Oval Office. She's... She's basically suggesting the State of the Union be a vlog. <laughs> All right, sup, home dogs, zaddies, and two bubers. It's your boy, Donny T in the big O. Tell me what you think the State of the Union is in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Witch Hunt, now let's, let's unbox these Matamars. <laughs> now, we've already announced that we're doing a live show that night. We're live, live following the State of the Union here at The Late Show. Which now we're officially renaming the Stephen Colbert Awkwardly Fills Time Talking About Big Brother Spectacular. <laughs> but Trump isn't, thank you, Trump isn't exactly arting the deal here because yesterday, in an effort to bypass Nancy Pelosi and negotiate with members of her caucus, Trump invited moderate House Democrats to join him at the White House for lunch, and none of them showed up. <laughs> Partly, none of them showed, not one partly out of party loyalty, mostly because the menu was leftover hamburgers. <laughs> and pizzas. The outlook. And pizzas. So many You're not delicious <laughs> hamburgers. The outlook for a compromise is so bleak that one Washington Post reporter said, a couple of senior Republican lawmakers told me the only way this breaks open is if TSA employees stay home and Americans get furious about their flights. That's the only out, they say. It's true. It's true. That would do it. The American people are reasonable, but if we have to spend the night sleeping on a bench in the Newark airport, we will grab a flag and join the revolution like an extra in Les Mis. Storm! No! I 
I say we storm the chilies too. We want our country back, country back, country back. <laughs> With the shutdown continuing, the Trump administration called nearly 50,000 people back to work unpaid. No. So, mm. the president is going to make people work without pay, and he announced it in his Unmancipation Proclamation. <laughs> and these are not people you want working while pissed. <laughs> Their jobs include dispersing tax refunds, overseeing flight safety, and inspecting the nation's food supply. Everyone knows food is always so much tastier when you don't pay the cook. <laughs> Ding! Order up burger with mouth gravy. I want that. Now, I it happens. That. It happens. <laughs> Definitely. This is so unfair to these federal workers that in their honor, I've designed the special shutdown coffee mug that says, don't even talk to me until I've had my paycheck. <laughs> Can we sell these? We should sell these. <laughs> we'll give them. We should give these away. We'll make these. We'll make these. Yeah. Let's make them. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, uh, don't worry, Trump has a plan. Wrong! <laughs> One unnamed aide says, he's not a guy who likes a plan. There's an animosity toward planning. <laughs> Other officials say, he prefers to wing it. <laughs> so basically, this entire administration has been improv. Okay, I need the suggestion of a group of people to demonize, an occupation to bring back without pay, and a great country to destroy. I heard proctologist Chia Pet on the moon. Thank you. 